See, I couldn't let you do that in the first minute of this morning's session. Because there's ten things to go wrong, and of which you'd have got eight of them fucking wrong. And how do we clean it up? But you understand the position now. Right, right. That's what we're doing. Right, look, it's a tap. It's a rotation there. Right. So whether you're doing this, which I want very good, or you're doing this, and then you're doing this. So I'm getting this. So I push. But I'm not going to pull that shoulder back. Yeah. 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 Back. 
Hi guys, that's me checking into the room now. Um, long day <laughs> being on the road from six o'clock um, straight into the, the actual camp itself. Um, plenty of, to, to st of stuff to take on. Um, both Ben and Steve, brilliant teachers, both have got their own way of doing it as well, which was, was good to see. Um, ben even said, look, obviously these are just kind of guidelines. Um, you're going to do it slightly different, but the main thing is that you actually, you get the mechanics down, um, which it was actually easy, pretty easy to take on. Um, some good techniques learned. Crunch armbar, like as they call it, or, or I think it's also a violin armbar. Um, probably got millions of different names, but um, good technique, yeah. Uh, also learned quite a bit from Sam, the guy who runs the lakes, BGD camp thing. Um, felt the, the benefit of <laughs> putting pressure on my face, which was hilarious. Um, but yeah, nice one, nice day, hard day. Now you have to look at your own take on it. So, Steve showed you what him and Adams did with this all them years ago and how they developed it. And they're the major point. You've got to load it, you've got to load that primary load, and load that secondary load. But now you've got your own way that you want to put that salt and pepper on, okay? So, and Steve will give you some fantastic examples of what he does going on like that. Now, my, my take on what they did, and maybe this helps because it comes from the village, is that with me, it was always this side, it was always this grip. Always. And you, so I'm doing everything, I'm doing everything that they say I have to do. I've got the load. And that there will be filled. Yeah, so you're going to have to let go of But as soon as that goes, I'm not going to come here. But because it's just not prudent, because he might grab his hands, one it will, and he's getting a big strong light. Then I'm back to here. As soon as that releases, they release it, I'm going to go arm pick. Because then if it grabs now, grab one, I just, it don't matter. You're following that. And another idea for you is maybe he's got fucking really wiry arms and big hands, like a steel worker. So you can't get the compression there. <laughs> And you can't release. Or it's all like mine. But you get under the bigger than feet. And you might think I can't. And you might have arms like what you get. And you're like, it's just not what's happening. So if you think where this is here, look, and I want that there, you can just. It's in. And that second one. And then you can do it sort of this. Push it down. There you go. Oh, 
Hi guys, just want to do a quick rundown of the whole weekend. Um, yeah, brilliant weekend anyway. So we left Newcastle, I think it was around half six, got there around nine-ish, um, straight in to the actual gym itself. They've got a little on-site coffee bar slash shop type thing. Um, and the coffee is absolutely unreal. So definitely recommend that, just, just for coffee alone. Um, but yeah, we got started about 10, um, working on some butterfly sweep entries, moving on to the sweep itself, broke up for lunch, and then obviously back working a few more sweeps, then moving on to the actual crunch or violin armbar um, itself. A couple of hours doing that, um, br broke up again for obviously the, the, the end of the day kind of thing. When got checked in at the hotel, which luckily was about five minutes walk from the gym itself. Um, obviously we had a, a car full of bags, so we drove around. But yeah, Travel Lodge Kendall, I think that was that's the actual name of it. Um, if you're going down and need somewhere to stay. Uh, so later that night went out for a few beers. Um, found a nice Italian place for for food. Um, Sapori, I think it's called really nice food definitely recommend that so obviously had a cu couple of pints that night um up for breakfast around half eight ish got there around 10 for the, obviously the second day starting um working on like a, a straightforward just arm bar type of thing um working on mechanics grip breaking all that type of stuff in the, the morning part of the session Broke up for lunch, working a bit more of the mechanics um, as well as variations of it and then finishing the day on a few different variations going off if they acted a certain way, reacted to how you were doing it, that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously there was a, a pretty evil choke that Steve showed with, which will definitely be getting used all the time. Um, but yeah, it was a brilliant weekend. Um, Steve and Ben are absolutely fantastic teachers, as well as they being like a good, good kind of team. Um, because obviously Steve will do it one way, and Ben will go, well, look, I do it this way because I find it easier to do it this way. This is why. Um, and there wasn't any of the kind of this is how you must do it. It, it was all like, look, try this out if it works for you, fine. If it doesn't. Play with it and see if you can work out a different way of doing it. Um, but yeah, it was an absolutely fantastic weekend. Uh, definitely won't be the last. We're already trying to decide on what the next one is we're going to go to. Um, Sam, the guy that owns it as well, or runs it, I should say. Uh, really nice bloke. He showed her a few different things from side control. Um, felt the pressure on my face, which is absolutely dreadful. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you soon.